Okay, everyone, second time's the charm, because last time I recorded this, there was a bunch of stuff open on my computer, which is making me lag. So, let's get into it. Today we have a street racing, street scene type of build for the FCRX7. And as you guys may have already noticed within the first few seconds of this race, is that the weakness for this car has to do with the acceleration from a dig. Accelerating from a dig on this car is not the best, it's fairly like slow compared to other cars. But accelerating from like a rolling start like that right there, I'm gonna get, I think it was at like 54 on the exit of that corner, I got back up to 100 fairly quickly. Watch again right here. I'm going to accelerate out of this corner fairly quickly. It's just that acceleration from a dig. Because other than that, this car handles nice. It's very fast. I want to say it's top speeds around the 250 mile per hour range. It's just that one thing that kind of drags this car down. And that, I think, is due to the rotary engine itself. Cause this car does have a rotary engine, although not the stock one. And what leads me to believe that it's the rotary engine itself is that I tried to tune it out and no matter what I did, it didn't really change that. And, ooh, that was almost bad. <laughs> I almost went off the edge. But yeah, the second thing that really leads me to believe that it's the rotary engine that's causing that has to do with that all, most of the ma good majority of the cars with rotaries that I've built in the past have that same kind of issue where accelerating from a dig is, isn't that quick but other than that this car is great handles nicely as far as like the speed and pace that it can keep during a, like a street race like right now is definitely on par with that exorcist Camaro that I built a few months back or it might not have even been a few months Actually, yeah, probably two months back is about right on that. And the R33 Skyline street scene car that I built about a year ago. Very quick cars, really good for street scene racing. And this definitely rivals those. I think that the Camaro is most definitely quicker than this car, but the... Skyline, on the other hand, is probably more so on pace with this. Quick little accidental drift there, but it's cool. Anyway, let's head on over to the festival site, and we will get you guys the build and tune for this car. Yeah. So while we're heading on over there and loading, I mean, this car is a 1990. You guys know I love my 90s cars. Always have. Always will. Those of you who've been around the channel a while know that I always say that the 90s was the peak of the automotive industry. Because really it was. I mean, like, yeah, there's, there's cars that are more technologically advanced now. But performance of the cars in the 90s and the the look of them and everything amazing it's like you had this all the most iconic cars that i could think of and that most people think of come from the 90s like the rx7 for example like we're in right now the whoops nissan skyline gtr i'm clicking my d-pad to move over and it's okay there we go yeah, Skyline GTR, Toyota Supra, BMW M3s, those, what are they, are they the E, uh, are they the E30s? Is that the one that everybody likes? Yeah, it is the E30s. So I had to think a minute, but yeah, like my E38 that I have in real life, my 94 Firebird, although not the most iconic or desirable of the Firebirds, love that thing to death. Let me think what else. Porsche 911s in the 90s. You had the Mercedes, the BMWs. 
all of these cars iconic all from the 90s and the pop-up headlights man i love pop-up headlights pop-up headlights are amazing they should have never got rid of them but anyway into the build we have the 2.6 liter four rotor racing engine this thing like sounds like an f1 car and then we have the all-wheel drive system and the body kit is completely optional i just like my cars thick now, uh, as far as aero, you can do what you want, but me personally, you can go with what I have if you'd like to as well. I have the stock front bumper, the Quirk Sport Street Rear Wing, because it's essentially the stock wing, or it's not even a wing, it's like a, that's a spoiler. It's essentially the stock one, it's just like a little more elevated, but if you want, you can go with some of these other ones that are... That one is downright atrocious. I hate the mounting brackets on it. Then, for the hood, I have the border street hood. Because, like, don't get me wrong, I like the stock hood. But just something about that one. Looks great. Then you're going to want strict, strict race tire compound. Slick race tire, race tire compound. Why, why can't I talk today? All day I've had the issue that, uh, like, I haven't been able to talk. Like, I haven't been able to talk right. 275mm front tires. 295mm rear tires. Wheels, do what you want. But if you want another ones that I have, I have the Workmeister Sierra 1s. Then for the rim size, I have 17s. Because it's, like, the 16s, they were looking a little small, and I didn't want to hinder our performance too much, so I went with the 17s. I mean, like, if you really wanted, you could go 18, but I really do not recommend going 19. Same with the back. Then you want the 7-speed race transmission, race driveline, race differential. race brakes, race suspension, race front anti-roll bars, race rear anti-roll bars, no roll cage, race weight reduction. I just really like revving this thing. And no restrictor plate. Then for the tires, or well the tune, the tires you want 23 in the front, 21 in the rear gearing 2.20 final drive and leave the rest stock alignment for the camber in the front you want negative 3.0 and the rear you want negative 2.0 for the toe in the front you want 1.0 out and in the rear you want negative 1.8 in then for the caster or the front caster angle you want 5.6 then for anti roll bars you want 25 in the front 15 in the rear for your suspension or your springs you want 453.3 in the front 348.1 in the rear with a ride height of 4.3 front and back for the damping the rebound you want 8.3 in the front 8.8 .8 in the rear for the bump you want 3.2 in the front 3.8 in the rear arrow if you have it leave it stock as far as braking for the balance you want 46 percent towards the rear and pressure you want 55 percent Differential, the acceleration for the front you want 29%, and then the deceleration you want 22%. For the rear you want 70% acceleration, 47% deceleration, with a center balance of 68% towards the rear. Why is it so hot in here? It's hot in my room. Man. Okay, so then for the design, I was during test runs with the guys with this car, they said you gotta put that design in the video and I was like alright fine so for you boys and anybody else who would like to use it I just went with the stock cream color for the overall color then carbon fiber hood carbon fiber mirrors carbon fiber uh, spoiler carbon fiber wheels and then black tinted windows then for the 
uh, vinyls. Just put a Mazda Speed sticker or decal on the rear three quarter on both sides, as well as the rear bumper and front bumper, and then just a little number box on the door. And if you guys really don't feel like doing that, you could. Uh, my designs here. Can I, am I able to bring up the share code here? I did share this. Of course I cannot. Okay. Oh wait. Here we go. There's mine. Now for the share code, it is 1600851104. Let's run that back one more time. 1600851104. I like how that's just right there for me. It's perfect. Anyway, um, that's about it for today's video. I mean, there's nothing else to really cover on this car. We went over everything. So I want to thank you guys for watching. Hope to see you in the next video. That's why you look where you're going, okay, guys? When you're driving cars in real life. You always look where you're going for that reason right there. You might head on collide into a wall. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one. And that's all for me today. So, rip some donuts here before we go though. Oh, in the dirt, in the dirt. Let's get out of the dirt. <laughs>